Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React and Node.js, we will learn how we can make API to update the product. Till now, I hope you remember that uh, we pre-filled our form and uh, in that video, we will make the API for update product and in next part, we will submit this form to the API. So these are the points for uh, this part. First of all, we will make a new route for API. Then we will write some code to update the data inside database then we will send the data from uh, postman so that we can check that api is working fine or not and after testing the api we will integrate it in the next video and this is my instagram account if you want to follow me there and please don't forget to subscribe my channel so uh, let's start with the first point and i am creating a new route which could be app dot we have to use here put method because uh, for update the data in database this is a standard procedure that we have to use put method either you can also use the post but this is not a standard way so in first parameter we have to provide the route so let me put here product then uh, id and in the second one what we can do here we can simply uh, send the two parameter request and response right and let's take a result here and that will be a the result will come from the product dot model uh, product model and we can use here update one function right update one function have two parameters first one on which behalf we want to update the data and uh, okay let me just uh, make it in the separate line here we will provide the second, first parameter on what behalf we want to update the data and what we want to update the data will be in the second object so on the behalf of id we want to update the data and where this uh, id will come inside the parameters so we can just say that request dot params dot id right and uh, in the second one we can uh, we have to use here dollar set this is a standard way to update the data and uh, what we want data we want to update that will be come inside the body so we can see that request dot body and inside body you can send even single field or you can send the old field whatever whatever you want to update so let's uh, format it and after that let's simply send here uh, response so response dot send and let's put here result fine now we can test this api on our postman so what i'm going to do here i will open a new tab select the put method path could be it can be product only because we have to send only one product and product id we have to provide inside the query parameter so let's say we want to update this uh, nokia mobile right so let's take its id here and uh, inside the body we will send a row data in the form of json right so let's say i want to update only one thing for a moment so let's say i want to update the price i want to just mention it 300 dollar right so let's come here and price put here price uh, it could be 300 dollar or anything whatever you want to set and let's hit on there and now you can see that we got a error so let me check what error we got here okay because we are using here uh, product model and this will be always written a promise to handle it we have to use async and await now it should work fine so now you can see that acknowledged one and modified column field is also one so let's check in the database and this is working fine so let's try to update once more so let's say i want to update here 330 updated and let's check in the database 
this is also updated wonderful so now, now let's say you want to update two fields uh, so you also want to update the company right so again you don't need to just worry about it simply put here company column and uh, let's say you want to just mention it Nokia from Microsoft send it this is updated as a, resp uh, a response and we can okay uh -uh. this is not updated so let me check what's wrong with it okay I misspelled the company spelling that's my bad and now let's check it again this is the Nokia so this is the way that how we can update the data and uh, in the next part we'll, uh, we will up, uh, integrate this API in our front end and data will be updated. and now we are just uh, at the last of that product soon we will just uh, make a recap of this all uh, videos apart for uh, recap all videos in a single one so that uh, we can just brush it up and uh, then we will just finish it, finish up this product and we will start with some uh, maybe react project or some angular project so you can suggest me what kind of project you are looking for so thank you so much for watching this video